Hey guys, how's it going? This is Patrick with Stacking Layers. Today I'm showing you the finally installed BQ Hermit Crab. For those of you that are coming in new to this and don't know what that is, it is this little guy back here, these double plates that all the wires are plugged into. Um, this is a quick changing tool set. Um, so basically what you could do is if you have multiple tools that you switch out occasionally, now it'll be even easier because you have all your tools wired up to a plate and then you come and press a button, if I could do this one-handed, and it comes out. And then you snap in your next tool and you're ready to go. Not having to rewire everything and all that good stuff. It's it's a quick off and on and you're set to print again or cut or laser beam or whatever you want to do. Um, my, my goal is to have a laser on here and possibly some sort of like Dremel CNC style cutting tool or something. I don't know. We'll see what I can damage in the future here. But for the time being, I only have one tool plate because I want it with this, uh, uh, the H1, or sorry, the H2 direct drive setup. I, I won a contest and it came along with this, um, which was like a demo version. So I only got one tool plate and then the set. And that's why I also have the linear rails because I didn't get the palm wheel set um, that comes with the retail version. So the retail comes with everything you need to uh, use it on whatever type of printer. So... If you already have a linear rail, which is a number, uh, it's a, it's the 12 version. I can't remember the whole name, but it's out of linear rail. There's like a nine or a, something like that and a 12. Um, this is a 12 model. Um, you can look it up online. It, it's, it says what it is. And I'll, I'll probably put it down in the description which version it, linear rail it is. But anyway, so it's really easy to install on this model. It just has some M3 screws with T-nuts in the back. And this tool already has all the holes pre-drilled ready to go for the rail. So... I think that's actually the recommended installation because it makes this thing rock solid. Um, you know, it, it, it's not moving anywhere except for the direction it's supposed to move, which is nice. Um, so that can give you a good advantage if you're having vibration problems or having problems with adjusting your palm wheels to hold on well. So that's a real advantage of the linear rail. Other than that, I don't see a huge difference in print quality, so I can't see justifying the money to switch it if you already have the palm wheels. Um, but that's just my opinion on that with, with this one setup that I have. So, um, yeah, you can take that with a grain of salt, but, uh, you know, for the money, I don't think it's massively worth it. You're not going to gain enough for how much it costs, but, uh, yeah, that's besides the point. Some, some things I do want to point out on this, um, for B1 users, if you're, if you're a B1, BQB1 and you want to install this guy, you do, and you do go with a linear rail get the 310 or maximum 320 uh, millimeter rail. This is 320. I actually got a 350, which was too long and I had to cut it. And these things are a pain in the butt to cut. At least this one was, it's hardened steel. And I doled out two blades trying to get through this thing. And it, it's, it was intense. So luckily I was able to get through and it's not the finest of cuts, but it works. Um, and the advantage of the, the 320 is that I get that extra hole there for the uh, end stop. Now with the, the B1, it comes with this uh, interesting um, uh, USB-C powered hot end um, disadvantage for this type of setup that I'm showing you with the Hermit Crab is that the uh, end stop is on the tool here. It's not on, on the printer itself. So I had to relocate that or what I was doing beforehand, I was using uh, sensorless homing, which uh, was it called stall guard or something like that. It's where it slams into the thing to uh, find where home is. Um, and it basically like it senses the current or something like that to to say hey i'm i'm stuck and that tells it okay that means you're at the end so stop it's basically <laughs> my understanding of it anyways so it, it worked but to to think about slamming my tool into you know something hard like that all the time it just didn't make sense so i went and upgraded or installed a, a end switch and it's it, it was literally as simple as just wiring up one of these generic end stops and plug it into the X end stop where the other one was already plugged in. So take it out, put it in, which really is the same way as you hook up all this stuff because the Hermit Crab comes with a fully assembled uh, wiring harness with all the everything that you need already in there. You got your your hot end or your um, thermistor, your heating cartridge, both your fans, CNC and always on fan, um, your motor, and then the four wire extra pin. It's got. Uh, where is it? This this guy down here, um, which it says end stop pin, but it's four four pins, so you can use whatever will fit in there, whatever needs four pins. Um, maybe an accelerometer setup or something like that, or infrared uh, homing or whatever. I don't know, but it's got the extra four wires, and that's like I said already integrated. 
And so everything is nicely set up. You just route your wires, plug them in here, route your wires down to your motherboard, unplug your existing, um, you know, heaters and whatnot, and plug these in, and you're ready to go. It's that simple. I was, I was really, really impressed with how easy and how clean everything was set up with that. You even get the extra BL Touch wire and uh, the shorter cable uh, for your motor to, um, you know, so you don't have to rewire or cut new wires for that. That's all given to you. You even get that, that little four pin one that, that has that special plug there with the standard kind of, um, end stop style plug on the other side. So yeah, it's, it's really easy. I'm surprised. Um, a couple things I've done. I, I designed this little cap to cover up and left the, uh, just the green plugs open so I can probe if I'm having any problems like fans or whatever. Um, I'll put this down in the, in the uh, description, a link to this, if you guys are interested in that at all. I don't know. I, I like it, but, um, you may not, <laughs> but I split it into two because all of these wires are down on this side and all of these are on that side. So it just kind of made sense. Seems to work well, cleans everything up. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward setup. There's not a whole lot that, that needs to be told about it. It works perfectly. Um, it, it, it holds the tool solid. Um, as you can see, you just line up if I can do this with holding my phone and not looking properly. There we go. And you just snap it in and you're, you're done. Um, I'll fire up the machine so you can see I haven't done any wiring and there goes the BL touch probe. Everything fires up, ready to go. And then it goes through its little check and then the fan comes on. So everything's working. Wiring is nice and clean, very easy to do. Um, no, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, it'll be nice once I get some extra tool uh, plates so I can actually use it for the benefit instead of just having it here to show it. But uh, like I said, this is this is, is not a retail version. The retail version comes with three tool plates. So if you guys decide to order something like this, the, it'll, it'll come fully ready to go. Um, oh, for another thing for the B1 users, if you do get this installed, it, get a belt because as you can see with my, my beautiful uh, <laughs> belt here, I had to uh, fold the belt over, use a strip uh, uh, zip tie to crimp that, and then two other zip ties to attach there because it was about 10, 15 millimeters too short um, from the stock one because the, the um, oh, where is it? On the wheels here. This, this is wider than what's on the Hermit Crab. The distance between the two connection points are, are, are closer together here on the Hermit Crab. So yeah, if you guys on the B2 or maybe even in Ender um, machines, I don't know how long their belts are or how wide their stock, stock belt areas. If you go with the linear rail and all that stuff, you, you might want to invest in some new belt to get it properly, which that's another thing I'm waiting for in the mail. But it's working. It just gives me a little bit of less distance at the end. I have to watch out, otherwise that part curls up over the edge here. So yeah, that's something I wanted to point out for any anybody with the Ender or B1 or, you know, just keep it, keep, <clears throat> in mind the belt distance or belt length might have to change it but yeah anyways that's the hermit crab installed with the h2 hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it was informative uh, if you have any questions comments dislikes likes let me know down in the comments um if you like the video give me that thumbs up subscribe if you're interested in this stuff um i'm still really new with all this this is basically me just showing my hobby as it grows um any type i anytime i get some weird items or ideas i want to I'm going to try to share it and give you my likes and dislikes about this. Um, I, I can't really say any dislikes about this, this system so far. Um, I've only used it now for a few days, so I can't give a hard, you know, review really about it. But so far, this thing is nice. It was extremely easy to install. It works as explained or as designed. I mean, I can't complain anything about it. Um, I guess the only thing would be like where the end stop, uh, plug is if it's on this side it would have been better on that side because you normally home that direction but i don't know maybe with this style printer you do but most others you you don't i don't know how that works but that would be the only thing i can change but i can see that why they didn't because there's that but i guess they can swap the bl touch with that i don't know if i have to complain about something that would be the complaint <laughs> anyways i hope you guys like this video is getting too long already let me know in the comments what you think and until next time thanks for watching